Here's a, another little makeup area for those of you that struggled a little bit with passwords. Um, passwords are fairly easy. Um, most passwords are, you know, as you see here, the minimum requirements here would be eight letters, characters in length, letters, numbers, and or symbols. That's what I, what I mean by characters. Um, it contains three out of the four of the following. It has uppercase letters, it has lowercase letters, numbers, symbols. So when I say um, letters, numbers, and or symbols, you can, um, if it has three or four out of all of those, you're good. All right, I'm going to unhide the password I'm going to show you how to do here. Um, and you can see there's a lot going on. Some of you found a very specific website that has things. Um, what you're looking for is sufficient or exceptional. Um, this may be a little bit different than um, the website you used. I know some of you used ones, how long would it take you to hack your account? So what you're also looking for complexity, you're looking for strong um, and a good a score as close to 100 as possible. So I'm gonna try the word password one, two, three. So you're gonna see this one is fairly good. Um, it now the, what I like about this website is it shows you the you know where it's an exceptional at, um, where it's kind of um, weak at, and where it fails. Okay, so um, 43 percent. Now I would say this is a very weak password. It's saying it's good, um, but it's got letters and numbers there. Now if I was to do let's say password star 458 that makes it a little bit stronger because you've got that symbol in there and that 58. Maybe if I put a capital in it, it brings it up to very strong or maybe I go password and capitalize the W in there. Wow now you've got a little bit so you know, some things to think about there. Um, I like to, another thing, a trick I use to help me remember things is I pick out, make sentences up of things I know. So I like, uh, well it's a bad example, I like to eat cheese. Okay, so here it's got a 91, it's very sensitive, it's, it's very strong. I've got capitals in there, and I've just got I like, I-L, 2-E, E-A, and I didn't put a T in there, but I could if I wanted to. I like to eat cheese, and I just kind of mix, mix things up, made it look a little bit random. Okay, um, Another one I've seen people do is S-C-R, soccer, star, um, 15, at H-M-E. Soccer star 15 at home. You can see it's very strong. You got symbols, and it's just a simple phrase or a sentence. So that's I like to do that with my passwords, just to make them uh, make it something unique to me. It appears completely random, and you can see it's very strong. I like the password meter website because you can hide it and unhide it at the same time. Um, they give you a lot of um, what we call metrics or formulas to use. So you know some things to. Um, just one of the sites I like to use. Most websites, if you're using eight characters in length, good, um, eight, eight or more, but not too much longer than eight. Okay. So again, look to the Skyward assignment for some things I'd like you to do um, to help make up some points on the test and the worksheet.